Hey guys, and welcome to Chem 101. We all know it's not really Chem, but let's get moving on. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a molecule on paper, which it looks very similar to Minecraft, um, using just the IUPAC name given. Now, here is the IUPAC name. There is actually no space between this, it just didn't fit on the sign. So, we're going to look at 44 dimethylpent 2 ion. Alright? And so we're actually going to look at the 3D version of it. You know, really cool. Nothing fancy. Definitely fancy. Um, but before I show you, we're going to go over what blocks I use for which molecule, for which individual atoms. So the blue one is going to be carbon. White is going to be hydrogen. And red is going to be our methyl groups, just to make everything a little less claustrophobic. And our fence posts are going to be our bonds between the atoms. One line of fence post means one bond. You'll see why that's important when we get to the molecule over here. All right, I know, that's beautiful, don't tell me. Now, we're gonna start over here. This is carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five. You can start your chain at any end. Um, there's even carbons over here that you can start at, but we're keeping it like this for simplicity. And as long as they go in sequence from one end to the other. Now, because my attention span is small, we're gonna go over here and look at the notes I made for myself. So once again, we're looking at four, four, dimethylpent 2 ine So what does this mean, you know? Because if we were just looking at this without our molecule over there, to an observer without any chemistry history, they wouldn't understand it. So we're going to look at the first part that's important. The pentine. All right? Pentane, pentene, pentine. They all represent a 5-carbon chain as the longest chain in that molecule. Boom. All right. Well, we have pentine. So if we look at pentane, that is a that means that there are no double bonds or triple bonds anywhere in that five carbon chain. Pentene means there is at least one double bond, and then pentine means that there is a triple bond in there somewhere. So ours is pentine, meaning that we do have a triple bond. Well, we have a triple bond in there, but is it in the right place? It's a good question. That's where this number comes in. The pent two ion is showing that it is on it starts on the second carbon and goes on to the third one. So one, two, beginning of our triple bond right there and into the third carbon. Now, we're gonna look at what the rest of this means. So di means there's two and the rest of it is methyl. So that means we have two methyl groups in here. That is our red blocks and we do have two in there. But how do you know where it goes? Well, our IUPAC name given to us is 4,4-dimethyl. The 4-4 four four is showing where those methyl groups are going. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, there is a methyl group on either side of that. And so that is fulfilled. That is the end of this video. We have successfully sketched out 4-4 four four dimethyl pent 2 ion according to the IUPAC name. Thanks for watching and get ready for the outtakes. If we go over here and look at the atrocity I've made, so we said earlier that, oh crap, um, a bunch of white guys, oh, today we're going to be looking at 4,4-dimethylpent-2-ene. So once again, we're going to look at 4,4-dimethylpent-2-ene, Pen pentene, splits the word pentene. Hey guys, I really appreciate you checking out this video, whether you had to by force to, I mean. Um, it was pretty fun to make, actually. I learned a lot about some editing, and um, that I really don't want to make instructional videos anymore. <laughs> Not like I ever did to begin with, but um, it was still fun, and I appreciate the um, encouragement to do it by Dr. Williams. So, have a great day. Hope your semester went well. Bye!